Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Once again, it is tea time. Today we have a little bit of fireside for that smokiness of the lap song. Absolutely love it. Today's going to be an interesting one. Um, we're gonna be talking about curved image sensors and they're basically coming and they're coming soon. One of the companies that have been working on them for about seven years said that they're ready for mass production. So it's very interesting. I want to talk to you guys about it a little bit. Before I get into it, I want to say that if you haven't went over to jchristina.com, go over there and check it out, all right? I have a lot of photography tools that I've invented over the last decade or more. Check it out right now during the holidays. Use promo code YT30. That's 30% off everything that's in your shopping cart. So go check it out. Once again, jchristina.com. You can get things like a focus pyramid, a PRT, which is a photo reference tool, something that I use for getting color right. You could also get a lens cleaner or a sensor cleaner, since we are talking about sensors now. So like I said, go check it out. 30% off, use promo code YT30. So that's the end of my shameless plug. Getting right into these sensors. Now, they are a curved sensor, which is very interesting. And we've heard about this in the past. So is it new tech? Well, it's kind of like new to be released old tech. <laughs> I've heard about this since the beginning of 2000s and they're finally getting here. They just make sense, but I'll get into it a little bit more in just a moment. Why? It makes so much sense. Now the company Curved One is a company that is out of France and it's run by two brothers. A CEO, which his name is Sebastian Hugert, I believe it is, as well as Emmanuel Hugert, which is the PhD. Two brothers, which is really interesting and it's great that they can collaborate together to be able to make this happen. Now they've been working on this for like six years. Like I said, the tech has been spoken about for about 20 years. Um, and Sony was one of them, but I'll get into that also later. Now, their tagline is Curved One Revolution for Image Systems. Now, that is basically what it is. Now, is it revolutionary to the general nature of things? No, because the way this works is very similar to the way our eye works. Okay, so Curved One is a startup and it is supported by the European Commission through the European Research Council programs. So it feels very government issue, doesn't it, guys? Very government issue. Well, we'll get into some of that in just a minute also. Now, Curve was quoted by saying, the imaging of extended scenes, wide field, has always been a challenge as optical systems naturally curve the focal surface. The bending of a photographic plate has been used routinely in many fields, even astronomy with the use of a Schmidt telescope, which naturally has a convex focal surface. So basically how that Schmidt telescope would work is the light would come in from one end and then on the other end would be a concave mirror. Now that image, which is being reflected off that concave mirror, is then reflected onto the focal plane, which is convex, which would be your bent surface, let's call it, which now would be a curved sensor. Kind of get how that all works? Concave to convex. Yeah. Anyways, we'll get into a little bit more of that also in just a second. So they continue by saying the advent of a flat electronic sensor has been a revolution, forcing optical designers to introduce additional optics to fit the flatness of the image sensor's surface. The classical problem of the planisphere appeared then. A huge distortion is created by the imaging system on the edge of the field. Additional complexity came along with the distortion. Field flatteners increased the volume and mass of the systems and chromatic aberration appeared. Also, the imaging response is not uniform across the field. So in short, what this is saying is that lens manufacturers have to always struggle to combat these issues that arise when you're using a flat sensor when the image is coming in curved. 
all right? They've always had this problem, and namely, they have to introduce some type of field flattening elements that make design larger and larger and more complex. Um, I brought up a little image here that came from their website, and you can see here the difference between a current lens and a lens that could be produced using this curved sensor. And as you notice, there is a heck of a lot less meat and potatoes on the back end of this lens. So in a nutshell, these lens manufacturers could remove the aspherical field flattening elements. They don't need them. So all of that glass is just gone. You could remove it. So what does this do? It just makes it simply easier to make, cheaper to make, faster to make, and the image will be better because there's less junk in between the entry point and the exit point of the glass, okay? So it makes sense. And it's just amazing that this hasn't been made a long time ago because it's been discussed for 20 years and just no one has made it. I just never understood that. I've always said that Sony was going to come out with this before anyone. And now this company has, it's kind of strange to me, but I don't know. It is kind of what it is. Now, it is a win-win for both the camera manufacturers and the lens manufacturers. The biggest win, of course, is for the lens manufacturers because it's just cheaper, lighter. Everything about the lens just makes more sense, less money into it. And there's a hell of a lot less tech that goes into making it work. And the camera manufacturer can use this new glass to just simply make better images, period. So, like I said, it is a win-win. Now, Curve also said that that sensor that they're coming out with is a 12 megapixel model. And that's gonna be their first sensor. It says that it has a curvature radius of 150 millimeters with a five micron regularity over the surface. That's pretty amazing, all right? Now, the company is targeting mass production with the support of the European Commission as well as the European Space Agency. Think about that, Space Agency. So by reading through some of these articles and going over to their website, it feels like this sensor will be more likely seen in space before in your camera bag. But I think that it will be in your camera bag soon, which is a good thing, guys, a really good thing. Once again, the idea of taking out the spherical field flattening elements and just taking out all of that extra glass is a phenomenal thing absolutely a phenomenal thing. You're going to be able to do a lot that you can't do currently, all right, with that sensor. And they've done some testing using a full fisheye, a 180 degree fisheye, and you will see that there's 100% illumination because it's just curved already. It doesn't have to struggle on the edges, okay? So 100% illumination, which is awesome. And you're looking at probably a one third savings in the amount of optics because you're gonna be able to take out a chunk. So like a 20 to 70 that might be this big, right? It could be like this big because you just took out a whole bunch of crap. So once again, light, cheaper, and the bottom line, simply better and lighter. So I wanna know your thoughts on it. What do you think? Do you think that this is something that we're going to see sooner than later, as I said? Um, usually my predictions are probably about 70 to 80%. I've been doing pretty well in 2020 with my predictions. So we'll see if I'm right on this one or not, if we see this sensor in the wild in 2021 or not, but I have a feeling that we will. It might be towards the end of 2021, but I think we're going to see it. And like I said, I think government is going to get it. The space agency in France will probably get it, obviously, before anyone else. But we are going to see it mass produced. So a lot of other people are also going to get it, which is really great. So once again, what are your thoughts? I want to hear from you this fantastic morning for Vlogmas number eight. Vlogmas number eight, and today's the 15th. I'm on schedule, guys, I am on schedule. I still have to do some readings for you guys. There's a lot to do, there is a lot to do. Anyways, if you have any ideas for any other Vlogmas topics, let me know in the comment area below this video. Let me know what you wanna hear about, what you want to see, any kind of back-end stuff for back-end stuff. Not my back end, but back end like BTS, like behind the scenes stuff, or any other thing, all right? Let me know. Maybe you want to play with that machine that I have all the way over there. 
that arcade that I built from scratch or something. Anyways, guys, let me know. So if you enjoyed this content, even in the least, please give it a thumbs up. That would be extremely helpful. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Why in the hell are you not? Subscribe. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I think we're up to like 430, 450 videos now, a ton, all right? Also, click this little bell icon here, this little notification button. So when I go live, which I am going live soon, okay, watch for that. And when I come out with new videos, you will be notified of it immediately. Also, if you wanna help out the channel, please click on the join button down here. Finally, we have join for this channel. So there's a lot of people that have already joined. I wanna say thank you to them, maybe over here. All right. Thank you very much for joining the channel and contributing to the channel and helping us grow. Really, really appreciate it. So if you want to do that, click that little join button. That would be absolutely awesome. And don't forget to join our creative Discord server over at community.jchristina.com. Once again, community.jchristina.com. There's a lot of brilliant people over there. We could just have conversations in comparison to YouTube where they make it kind of hard for me to find these conversations that we have. Anyways, over there at community.jcristina.com, everything is fully archived and searchable, which is awesome. And finally, head over to my website, jcristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years, and hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me. That would be absolutely awesome. Don't forget promo code YT30 at checkout. That's just during the holidays. YT30 at checkout, get 30% off everything. Anyways, that is it for today. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe and stay healthy.